This is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm conducting a Tyranny Watch News Special Field Investigation. UFO over Lima. Last night, on the 11th, about 11.15, I was just about parallel with this area that I'm at, on Dalton Road, when I noticed a bright green flash in the sky. It was a UFO, all right. Uh, I came out here to see if there are any towers or anything that might have accounted for it, but I've never seen it before. And the flash... The flash covered the road in front of me. It didn't seem very bright, but it shone a beam down in front of me on the road. Near, right in front of my car. Now, I didn't da damage anything or anything like that. But when I got to the town, I saw the lights were all out. Now, I don't know why that would be. The power is out. The power outages are frequently associated with UFO sightings. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you the general area that this UFO was in. I'm going to show you Elon Bible Institute, which is a local uh, church and school and all that. Alright, uh, this is the general area that the UFO sighting took place in, somewhere in this area. As you can see, there are no towers or anything. Nothing that could have accounted for it. The UFO is much higher than any of the towers in this town. Now, the big tower you see right above the uh, church there, that is a water tower. That's town. I think it has a red light on it. This was green. It was bright green. And it flashed some light across my, uh, front of my car, right near my car. And that startled me. I continued on into the town, only to find lights were out in the town. At that point, I stopped to look for the UFO. I didn't see anything more. So there you have the general area. Nothing out here. I would say the thing was maybe 25, 30 degrees above the horizon. There's nothing out here that could account for it. Nothing in Elon, nothing in town. So this was a UFO, yes. There wasn't no plane either, I'll tell you that much. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into town. I'm going to... Uh, talk with people in town about this and see if they have any insights. I was going to go up to the UN, but there's nothing here. They had nothing to do with it. Just for uh, documentation, the UN Bible Church, right there. Nothing out here that could account for it. Okay, uh, just to document, this is where I stopped last night after I saw the UFO. Rather busy right now. All the lights were out, the street lights were still on, but all the rest of the lights were out. I found that a little odd. And then, like I said, I looked for the UFO up in the sky and I didn't see it after that. Standard small town USA, except that there was a UFO here last night. Alright, we're going to go to the town hall and see if they've had any reports. Just for documentation, I'm at town hall. Trying to talk to people, got nowhere. The town supervisor is on the phone, and my time's limited. And did talk to a couple of people, but they seem to know nothing. So now we're going to go over to the state police. I'm not going to record that. 
We're going to go to the state police and we're going to make file a report on the UFO that I saw. Thank you. Just for documentation, I am in the it's like courthouse area and there's a uh, New York State Police substation in here. I was talking to an officer about it and showed him my ID and all that and he's going to look that up. I don't know if he's going to take a report or not. It's frustrating dealing with bureaucracy, even in a small town. I've had problems with uh, reporting UFOs and things of that nature. And I've seen a few of them. I'm always watching the skies nowadays. Uh, anyway, okay, I'm going to do wrap up on this. I did go to the town hall. I went to the police. State Police, I tried to make a report. I actually wound up talking to people from the village of Lima, which is separate from the town. I asked them if I could record, and she couldn't understand the concept. Anyway, here's some final thoughts on this. It wasn't an airplane. We had aircraft flying around here all the time. Because they were on their way to Rochester Airport. This wasn't no, any plane. I can tell you that right now. It wasn't uh, any tower. There's nothing up, nothing here in this little one-horse town that could account for this. Nothing. I don't think it went over very well when I was looking for uh, UFOs when I was talking about a UFO. And I, I don't think they really take you seriously, which is nothing new, of course. So I'm going to put that in the category of unknown. Uh, one additional thing, what I learned, I heard this independently from several different sources, the reason for the power outage, they say, is that they had problems with transformers. Yeah, in translation, the UFO knocked them out. I am 100% convinced. I don't believe in coincidence. Synchronicity. And I think this UFO, whatever it was, knocked out power around here. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and thanks for watching. This has been a Tyranny Watch News Special Field Report.